If you think that's something, read about Thomas Jefferson. Come on. <laughs> Come, on. Come on. Come on. Sally Hemings. Correct, Sally Hemings. Some of y'all know something about going with somebody you ain't got no business going with? All right. Hmm? Come on. Like you know. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> going on. Now see, with all the OG songs, I lost all my frat brothers and Southern undergraduate students because y'all don't know OG. But y'all be looking for love in the wrong places. Come on with it. Come on with it. some guns come on you're looking in the wrong place yeah our help doesn't come from government our help doesn't come from guns our help comes from God come on you're looking someplace other than God you were looking in the wrong place how did the writers of the different Psalms say it some trust in chariots mm. some trust in horses but we trust in the name of the Lord our God Psalm 20 Psalm 124 if it had not been for the, for the Lord who was on my side we would have been destroyed Psalm 121st they just sang it total praise I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help my help cometh from the Lord which made heaven and earth when you are looking someplace other than God you're looking in the wrong place how did the Africans themselves who had once been enslaved how did they put it when freedom finally came what did they sing you heard them sing free, free, at, last, free, at, last. free at last free at last thank the government no, no, no. Oh, excuse me. Free at last. Free at last. Thank the guns of the Union Army. No, no. 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 Free at last. Free at last. Thank Master Lincoln. No, no. Free at last. Free at last. Thank General Sherman. No, no. no. But what did they say? Free at last. Free at last. Thank, thank God, God Almighty. I'm free at last. Our help comes from the Lord. Now, millennials and the student body, undergraduates, most of y'all try to ditch church. Some of you are glad you came away to college because you can stop going to church with mom and them. Come on. But if you grew up anywhere near the church, right. you heard your grandparents, your great grandparents telling you exactly where our help came. You heard it all your life. Father. We have mass incarceration. This government started cute little slogans about putting prayer back in school while simultaneously putting blacks back in slavery and putting black and brown men outside of the oh. citizenry oh. by creating legally a new caste system where black bodies count, but black votes are thrown away, tossed away, stolen, made null and void called entitlements. The government said we were in a post-racial America while majoring in black incarceration and minoring in authentic black education and producing journalists like the jackass that wrote about me coming here. Amen! 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 Connecting the 
dots between the racism against blacks in this country and the racism against Palestinians in their own country. The apartheid wall on the border of Mexico and the apartheid wall in the country of Israel. This government, the nation, does not have the best interest of those whom Jesus called the least of these anywhere on its agenda. Don't wait for help from a nation that has no help to good. If you go wait, do what the Bible says. Wait on the Lord. On the Lord. Lord. If you're looking for help, call on the Lord. If you need help, call on the Lord. You need help on your job, call, call. on the Lord. Listen, you need help on that test, call, call on the Lord. Lord. Amen. You got an evil supervisor when you go to work tomorrow? Confuse them. Just say in the name of Jesus. Call on the Lord. You need help in your personal life? Call on the Lord. Whatever the need, call him. Whatever the hour, call him. He does not sleep. He does not slumber. You call on the good days? Call him. On the bad days? Call him. When you need a friend, call him. When you don't need nothing, just stop calling him Jesus. Yeah. Jesus. 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 What's that old song we sing? I didn't ask for this one, Brother Lloyd. The song that says, Jesus on the main line. Tell him what you want. Tell him what you want. If you want more power, tell, tell him what you want. want. Jesus on the main line. Now, now, we're going to sing that. We're going to sing it like they used to sing it down home. But before we sing it, I want to tell y'all what the old man, I'm an old man, y'all. But I learned a new word and a new, a new style. I learned a word called remix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Y'all yeah. want to hear my remix? Remix. I'm going to give you my remix and let you go. When you call him up, call him up. Call him up, tell him what you want. Call, call him, him up. call him, tell him what you want. Now, when you do that, when you call him up, don't just tell him what you want. <laughs> Stay on the line, here's the remix, and see what he wants. Yeah! <laughs> Ask him what he wants. Students of Southern, I'm sure he wants you to do something about Mike Brown. I'm sure he wants you to do something about Tamir Rice. I'm sure he wants you to do something about the injustices that plague our community. Not just get a degree from Southern, but make a change, a positive change in this world. The, 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 the journalist from LNR asked me before we began, well, you keep talking about the black church. What about the gospel of Jesus Christ? Come on. Come on. <laughs> Well, y'all the ones that created the black church. You wouldn't let us worship with you. Come on. Amen. And the gospel of Jesus Christ is that God made all of us as God's children. He yes, didn't sir. make you yes, superior sir. to me or yes, me right. superior yes, to you. Sir. That's the gospel. And what does he want? He wants me to help you straighten out your crooked thinking. Oh. That's what he wants. He doesn't want me. He wants me to disabuse you of the notion. It was this black theology. What is it? We didn't have white theology for a thousand years. It's black thinkers. You, we can do critical thinking. You ever, you, you ever heard of that? I know that scares you. Nothing scares a racist more than a black man that can think. Hallelujah. I thank you for having me. I, I know they're going to put you on television. They've been put you on television. We got it. We got it.